I read with interest recently Fabio Capello describing Arsenal, saying how we played really attractive football, that we were fast-paced, we were exciting to watch, but we missed that one star player that can lift us to a legendary status. Obviously, Man City have a couple of those, and I'm thinking really of Rodri more than Haaland, but Kevin De Bruyne is one of those as well. They have players, and they are one of the world's best teams, managed by arguably the best manager that's ever lived. Who is that one player then? It's my birthday today. So I think if I was allowed to just have any player and and it was possible for Arsenal to go out and sign that player that would really come in and be the legend that makes a difference, Kylian Mbappe springs to mind, of course, because we really missed out on him when we could have signed him under Arsene Wenger and he went to Paris Saint-Germain instead. And it is mind boggles what the difference might have been. But even more than that, I would say it's... Well, it's Jude Bellingham. I think he is a generational talent, one of the world's best. Brooks' comparison with Zinedine Zidane or any of the truly great players. And look what he's done since he went to Real Madrid. And when you think how relatively little it costs to sign him, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? But in any case, those aren't going to happen. I thought instead what I would do is look at who the forwards are. Because if we are going to have this debate, if and so many of you do feel like we are one striker away. Jesus is not prolific enough. That's the accusation levelled against him, that we are missing that striker. If we'd had that 20-goal season, man, it might have made a difference against Aston Villa because we did miss a lot of chances. But it's all very well saying we should go and sign a striker. But who is the striker we're talking about? I thought I would look at the top five list of players that arguably could come in and get those kind of goals. And I'm going to start with one, uh, number five, who I don't actually think we should sign. And that's Sahur Goresi, who's playing at VFB Stuttgart at the moment and has managed an incredible goal return so far. Um, admittedly, this is uh, kind of out of nowhere. He's 27 years old, but he was at Rennes uh, for between 20 and 22, and he scored 19 goals in 65 games. Uh, he was on loan at Stuttgart last season where he scored 11 in 22 games. He plays for Guinea. He would have to go away to the African Cup of Nations. But at the moment, he looks like he's going to break all records in the Bundesliga. From 10 starts out of 12 appearances, he scored 16 goals and one assist. He's on a goal every 55 minutes. Surely he has to be in with a shout to be the kind of player that could come in and really put the cat among the pigeons. Personally, I think given that he's going to be away for the African Cup of Nations and also given that he is 27 and this is the first time he's really started doing that. He looks great. He's a great player to watch and he's on top of his form. Whether that would necessarily translate or not, I think it's still a bit of a reach. And then there's Vangelis Pavlidis, uh, who's uh, some of you may not know, but he's at AZ Alkmaar in Holland. He's been there since 21 he's played 78 games scored 48 goals for them he has uh he's never won anything but he is part of the re a big part of the reason why is it Alkmaar currently second in the Eredivisie since 21 22 season where he joined he scored 16 goals from 32 starts yeah, the season after he scored 12 goals but at the moment from 15 appearances he's on 18 games that's roughly 72 minutes per goal which is fantastic he's 25 years old plays for Greece I, I just don't think he's the right age and, and again you know it's all very well signing players because they're on a hot streak of form now but if it takes him two years to get into this kind of form at AZ Alkmaar who's to say that he would hit the ground running enough and then there's I want to cover off some of the big ones so Victor Ossiman this is the big big name now he's 24 years old plays at Napoli Nigerian international since joining Napoli um, he's played 94 games scored 56 goals won Serie A and the under 17 World Cup with Nigeria um, and at the moment he's on 20 and for last season he helped them win the Serie A scoring 26 goals uh, out of 32 appearances four assists a goal every 99 minutes I don't think there's many of us that wouldn't want Victor Osman to sign for Arsenal however it's going to cost £130 million. And I think given that we had to do a loan deal to get Raya in, even though we wanted to sign him, apparently because of uh, wanting to keep within financial fair play, do we really have £130 million? Do we have any way of raising £130 million? 
I, I'm not ruling Victor Osman out for summer. I would like to think that since he wants to leave Napoli, that we'd be in the shout. Um, but it's more likely that a team like Chelsea would splash that kind of cash in January. Um, and maybe that is what they're planning to do. And then there's Lautaro Martinez, 26 years old, World Cup winner, Copa America winner. He's won uh, Coppa Italia. He's won Serie A and he's been a Champions League runner up. He's played 188 times for Inter Milan since joining in 2018 and has scored 93 goals. He's played 54 times for Argentina, scored 21 goals. This is one of the world's best strikers. Last season, he scored 21 goals from 38 appearances, 27 starts and six assists. That's a goal every 123 minutes. This season, though, even better. He's played 15 times, 14 starts. 14 goals he's on a goal a game one every 90 minutes unfortunately it looks like he's signing a new contract with Inter Milan and so he will not be available and doesn't want to play for Arsenal well that was four and now you may be wondering who's number five well this is the one I think we actually have a realistic chance this is the one I would hope that we would go for another player in Holland currently leading the goal scoring charts he's 22 years old so a perfect age he's playing at Feyenoord won the Eredivisie last season scoring the goals that fired Feyenoord to that win um, and since joining he's played 47 games and uh, 33 goals I am of course talking about Santiago Jimenez this season Having played just 15 starts, he has scored 18 goals with three assists. He's on a goal every 68 minutes because he's playing in Holland. Because of a lot of factors, he has got to be really gettable. And would he be an upgrade on Enketia? Absolutely. So my one player that I would sign if I'm looking at strikers, because look, I haven't talked about Vlavic, but then he's not scoring that many goals and doesn't want to leave Juventus. He's come out and said that. I'm not interested in Ivan Tony just because he had one really good season where he scored 14 goals from open play. Um, and, and, you know, I don't like his attitude. I'm not a fan. Maybe you could disagree with me. Do so in the comments. Let me know why you think Ivan Tony is great. For my money, Ivan Tony is a little bit old to meet the profile. Probably only has another good two or three years in him. And he may not come into an Arsenal side and do particularly well. Ollie Watkins is good. Uh, he's on eight goals this season. It's not terrible. But uh, he didn't look that great against us. And um, Evan Ferguson, who is only 20 years old for me, is a definite prospect for the future, but not someone I think would come in straight away and hit the ground running. If it's between Santiago Jimenez and Evan Ferguson right now, I'm saying, Edu, go out and get Santiago Jimenez. And let's see what he can do in terms of goals in the Premier League. He's still young enough to learn and develop, uh, but he could be a really hot prospect. Anyway, love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, it is a Christmas season. And apart from anything, it's my birthday. So you owe me that much. <laughs> Lots of love. Be lucky.